Hey guys, I wanted to do a quick unboxing of something that I find really cool. It's a newer brand of laser for CNC routers such as my Shapoko. Um, pretty cool product, at least from what I can tell in the pictures. I mean, I'm really excited about it. I've been talking to the CEO of the company in Poland and finally received it this afternoon and I've been waiting all day to get it opened up so let's take a look at what's inside so kind of came like my my Prusa printer where it came with this plastic wrap around it which is pretty nice honestly just I don't know if this is a standard thing but a lot of these long distance shipping I guess they just don't want their product to get wet or damaged during transit it's a cheap thing to do to protect an investment like this So it comes in a pretty cool box. I wasn't expecting it to be a printed box like this. Pretty neat. It's got a quality seal on the bottom. It says Op Laser Seal of Quality. Let's crack that open. Pretty cool. Some literature about the company and some instruction manuals with some QR codes. Big fan of the QR codes. I use it on some of the products that I sell. I include QR codes for setup, so that's already winning me over. Got some opt lasers, laser goggles. Comes in a case. This will be nice hang up by my router in the case. I have some masks over here and Having them nice and available will be pretty handy. So they're they're nice big goggles shielded on the side so that you don't have the 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 flare of the laser coming up through the side. So honestly some pretty decent glasses it looks like. Let's put these in. Piece of cardboard, uh, CNC adapter, just a cable, nothing too crazy. <clears throat> this is the lens upgrade. I'm pretty sure this is for the the air assist nozzle, and you screw it onto the end of your lens, which is something that I'm going to cover later. The laser itself, it's nice and small. I have my router right here. I mean, this is going to mount to the side. And something that's really cool that was a big seller on this product for me is it uses a magnetic mount. So I'm over here and I'm cutting something with my router. There's dust everywhere. Got my shot vac going. And you don't want to leave your laser on your router like that. So what they've developed, and this isn't a standard option, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's an adder and you mount your magnet and then you have a magnetic base and the base actually has the electrical contacts in it so that when you stick it to the side it's ready to go when you pull it off and you put it away it just has a little dust cover it goes over your electrical connections and you can keep using your router like a regular router so i think that's huge that's huge for this market honestly <clears throat> pardon my cough I got the allergies Got the high pressure air nozzle kit. So maybe that's not what this is. Um, what's pretty cool about this is you can connect this to the bottom of your laser and you'll actually connect it to your air compressor. And we're gonna go over that in more detail later. This is just the quick unboxing, but this too is a pretty big game changer on something that goes on this type of router. I mean, this is pretty cool. It's got a spindle adapter for the magnetic nozzle. It's got some additional, this is X-Carve and Shapoko signal wire. Here's the Op Lasers magnetic base. So I'm gonna show you real quick because this is what I'm pretty excited about. When you're not using your router, let me get this open too. 
This piece here is going to be permanently connected to your router. It has magnets in it with some ball bearings to lock it in place. And when you're not using the laser, pardon me, you can just throw your cover over it, however, however it goes. I haven't used it yet. Let me go on this side. It goes on this side. So this will go on your router. I told you the wrong piece. But as soon as you're ready to go, you just pull this off and it has the electrical connections. And this will actually be mounted to the laser itself. And this will be on your router and you're just going to click your laser on. However it goes. And you can't put it on backwards. I'm just not used to doing this. There we go. So that will be permanently affixed to your spindle. And then when you're not using your laser, you just pull it off throw your cover on and your electrical connections are nice and protected that is just the coolest thing you have your CNC adapter it has a key and you can lock out the laser when you're not wanting to use it uh, pretty cool I think it mounts to the back really well of your your y-axis It has a power adapter with a couple of adapters. So this does come from Poland. So it does have your, your UK style plugs, which I'm not gonna use, but they also include, it looks like the two prong adapter for just the US power. So that's nice that it comes with that. And a couple of miscellaneous parts and mounting hardware. So you have your height reference tool. This is pretty nice. Uh, I watched some videos on it about just spacing your laser. So nice little gauge that it comes with machined out of aluminum. And this is the mount for the router. So, so I wanted to take a closer look at all these parts off the tripod. Again, it came with some nice laser goggles. They appear to be really high quality. You have a gauge for measuring the height above your laser tip nozzle. Um, there'll be more about that later. You have this magnetic mount. One side will stay attached to your router and the other side will remain attached to the laser. And when you're not using it, you can put the cover over it. I think that's just so cool. Uh, it has your, your air pressure nozzle kit, which is really cool. Some control wiring. It's kind of like a laptop charger power supply. It's a nice high quality power supply with all the adapters for various countries. There is the main controller and the laser itself. So I'm going to be doing a lot of videos on the installation of all these pieces and also some of the performance. So let me know what you think.